One night at Great Waterton, the engines were telling scary stories. They were all there, except for Boris, as he had to go to the steamworks. The engines took it in turns to tell a ghost story, each trying to outdo the last. They all had a laugh as Steve did a ghostly imitation. Soon it was Percy's turn to tell a story, but he was unsure and looked over to Thomas. Do you think I should tell it, Thomas? Of course, it won't hurt anyone. I'm not sure. It is pretty scary. Go on, Percy. Tell us your story. There is no need to be shy. Well, okay. Here it goes. And this was a story that Percy told. Once upon a time, there was an engine who used to work on Sodor, long before Thomas. In fact, he had a similar shape like Thomas and Boris, except he was painted silver, and he had a number zero on his sides. His name was Timothy. He was an old but kind engine, with a bright smile and wrinkles at the end of his mouth. One night, he was scheduled to take a late night passenger train from the docks. Soon, all the passengers climbed on board the coaches, and the guard blew his whistle. "Full steam ahead, Timothy!" called the driver. "Sure thing," replied Timothy. And they set off into the night. Timothy was soon chuffing down the line in the countryside. The moon was full, the signals were down, and the air was blowing gracefully. As they approached the first station, it happened. The driver applied the brakes, but Timothy kept going and shot past the first station. He started to go faster and faster. Timothy, what are you doing? Yelled the driver, but Timothy didn't answer, and he kept going. Suddenly, they were switched off the wrong line, heading away from the main line. His driver and fireman saw in horror that they were heading towards the cliff where the viaduct was to be built. Timothy, don't! You will kill us all! Yelled the driver. The driver and fireman scrambled and fiddled with the controls, desperately trying to stop him, but it was no use. I'm gonna send you all to the graveyard. As they neared the cliff, Timothy's brakes went off, letting off a loud screech as Timothy and his train plunged into the ravine. Timothy and his crew, along with all the passengers, had all died upon impact. There were no survivors. No one knew what caused Timothy to do something so horrible. Some say he went mad, while others say he was possessed by a demon. After the incident, construction on the viaduct was commenced, and it was finished the following year. However, after it was completed, many of the workmen reported seeing the ghost train chuffing along the rails, whistling big to burst, and then disappearing. No one knew how to explain it, but everyone believed that it was a ghost of Timothy haunting the viaduct. But no one knew whether to believe it or not. And so, every year on the date of the accident, Timothy runs again as a warning to others, plunging into the cave and screeching like a lost soul. Percy blew his whistle long and loud, scaring everyone. All was silent until, well, Percy, that was one scary story. I might have to leave the lights on tonight. Everyone laughed. How did you come up with such a scary story, Percy? Well, Edward told me. He knows a lot of great ghost stories, though he did say that this story might be true. Well then, if the story is true, then we all better keep a good lookout for Timothy. They all chuckled, and soon all the engines chuffed home to their sheds.
asked for Alfred, he had to take a late night goose train to Nefer Station. Watch out for Timothy, Alfred. <laughs> I will. As Alfred was jumping along the rails, he kept thinking about Percy's story. Could that story actually be true? D no, an angel would never do something like that. Suddenly, Alfred had to stop at a red signal. He was confused. That's odd. There shouldn't be another engine out on this line. Then, out of nowhere, the mist rolled in, and the wind began to get cold. Alfred began to feel scared. Then he heard a chuffing sound, followed by a deep whistle. Hello, is someone there? <laughs> Are you Timothy? Yes, I am. I'm gonna take you to your doom. Alfred opened his eyes. He looked around, and the ghost engine was gone. When the signal changed, he ran away as quickly as he could. He didn't stop until he reached Nafford. Alfred quickly went into the sheds. Still shaken from his encounter with Timothy, <laughs> Alfred, is everything all right? Y yes, I mean no. I mean, well, I just had the most scariest thing happen to me. Really? What happened? I think I had an encounter with a ghost. And so Alfred told Rosie everything about Percy's story. I know it all sounds silly, but I really did see the ghost of Timothy. Well, maybe you are thinking of that story so much that you imagine seeing Timothy. It could have even been the moonlight playing tricks on you. Huh? <sighs> I don't think so. It was way too real. Well, try and get some sleep. You'll need it after the night you had. Maybe you're right. Good night, Rosie. Good night, Alfred. Alfred managed to fall asleep, but from that night onward, Alfred would always remember his encounter with Timothy, the ghost engine.